Washington CDL air brake practice test. Question 1. The tractor protection valve is closed by the parking brakes. Will close itself automatically if the air supply drops to a certain level. Provide your air supply for brake system. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 2. Generally, why must you take an exam about air brakes? Otherwise, you cannot receive a CDL at all. Otherwise, you will have to get a CDL with restrictions. All trucks have air brakes. Otherwise, you can only receive a CDL permit. Answer Otherwise, you will have to get a CDL with restrictions. Question 3. The maximum leakage rates per minute are 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 1 pound per square inch for single vehicles, 3 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 6 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles. 10 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Answer 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Question 4 Which of the following should you do before leaving your vehicle unattended? Put on the parking brakes. Remove the keys. Chalk the wheels. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 5. Which conditions are front wheel brakes good under? Only wet or icy conditions. Only good weather. Front wheel brakes are never ideal. All weather conditions. Answer. All weather conditions. Question 6. At what measurement is the safety valve usually set to open? 100 pounds per square inch. 250 pounds per square inch. 200 pounds per square inch 150 pounds per square inch Answer 150 pounds per square inch Question 7 How can you tell if your vehicle is equipped with an anti-lock braking system? If the vehicle is manufactured after 2010 ABS is still optional. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2000. Answer. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. Question 8. Which of the following is not part of the air brake system? Parking brake system. Emergency brake system. Radio signal system. Service brake system. Answer. Radio signal system. Question 9. When should you use the parking brake? Every time you leave your vehicle, for any amount of time. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. 
only if you are away from your vehicle for an extended amount of time. Only in urban areas, where there are many other vehicles. Answer Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Question 10. Which of the following is the reason that air tanks must be drained? Your left side brake will cease to operate. Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. You will drive too quickly if they are not. Your transmission fluid may drain out. Answer Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Question 11 How do brakes work on a long, steep downgrade? As the main braking mechanism, with the engine braking effect as an emergency backup. Not applicable, there is no braking effect involved in a downgrade. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. As the main braking mechanism. Answer. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Question 12. How would you check your truck's slack adjusters? Accelerate, then brake hard. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Press the brake pedal while listening for any strange noises. All of the above. Answer. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Question 13. What is the best way to test if your vehicle's spring brakes come on automatically? Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on single vehicles. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on tractor trailers vehicles. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the manufacturer's low size specification have been met for spring brakes to deploy. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 14. Which of the following is true about your brake function if your ABS fails? You will have no brake function and the truck will be out of control. It will slow your truck to a halt and force you to pull over. It may cause problems with other mechanical systems and there could be a huge fire risk. You will still have normal brake function and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. Answer. You will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. Question 15. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? Manually let the air out of your brakes and see if the signal comes on. Pump the brakes while your vehicle is fully on. Pump the brakes until the air pressure drops below 30 pounds per square inch. Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Answer Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Question 16. When should you drain your air tanks? At the end of a trip. At the end of each working day. At the end of the month. At the end of the fiscal quarter. Answer. At the end of each working day. 
Question 17. Which of the following is true about a dual error brake system? One system usually operates the front axle and one operates the rear axle. They use a single set of brake controls. One is called the primary system and one is called the secondary system. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 18. Which vehicles must have low air pressure warning signals? Only those built after 2005. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Warning signals are optional. Only those built after 2010. Answer. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Question 19. Which of the following is not part of the drum brake? Slack adjuster. Brake drum. Safety valve. Axle. Answer. Safety valve. Question 20. Which of the following is not part of the braking process when driving a tractor-trailer combination vehicle with ABS? You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. When you slow down, you should monitor your tractor and trailer and ease off the brakes to keep control. You should use only the braking necessary to stay safely in control. Brake the same regardless of what you're driving, whether you have a trailer or ABS, or neither. Answer You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Question 21 Which of the following factors can cause brakes to fail or fade? Brakes being out of adjustment. Excessive use of the service brakes. Not relying on engine braking enough. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 22. Spraying brakes are. Brakes that come on automatically on a truck on tractor when the side drops too low. Made up of powerful springs that are held in back while you are driving by air pressure. Not going to have full effect until your side drops to a certain range, often 20 to 30 pounds per square inch. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 23. Which of the following does ABS do? Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Shortens your stopping distance. Increases your normal braking capability. Decreases your normal braking capability. Answer. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Question 24. Slack adjusters are Between the power screw and push rod on disc brakes. Part of your air brake system used to adjust the brakes. Between the push rod and S-cam on drum brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. The purpose of a Sopley pressure gauge is? To tell you how much air is in the tank. To warn you only if there is too little air in the tank. 
to tell you how hot the air in the tank is. All of the above. Answer. To tell you how much air is in the tank. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.